Washington Commander's Defense Coordinator Jack Del Rio calling the January 6th insurrection a dust-up earlier this week and also making the false equivalence to the riots that happened in the aftermath of the murder of George Floyd and others. Multiple examples of police violence directed to minorities in 2020 and the organic reaction to that. The president of the NAACP said yesterday it's time for Del Rio to resign or be fired. And we kicked this around in a lengthy discussion yesterday, Shireen, whether or not it's fair to ask that basic question. Will the Washington Commanders, a team like every other NFL team that constantly makes employment decisions about players based upon the best interest of the team, in the offseason when there are 90 on the roster, it seems like every day there's a guy that gets cut and a guy that gets signed. Guys are being terminated all the time. They'll go from 90 to 53 before week one. Best interest of the team. Best interest of the team. You could make the argument it's in the best interest of the team to move on from Jack Del Rio when you consider all things. Number one, he's not Vince Lombardi or Bill Belichick, all due respect. Number two, you've got an impact on your stadium funding situation where the bill is now dead. And one of the senators in Virginia said that Del Rio's comments were the final nail in the coffin. And number three, you may have you may have an issue in the locker room, although uh, we're going to play some sound here in a second that that suggests otherwise. But how, how how can you not have some guys at least wondering about that Jack Del Rio after he made those comments, Shereen? Well, and that's been the biggest thing to me, Mike, because two things. First, Washington knew what it was getting when it hired Jack Del Rio. I mean, he's never hidden his stance on things. We talked about the 90-10 w- with Tom Brady. Jack Del Rio is not afraid of conflict. He puts it out there. He uses his Twitter account probably way more than any of his teams ever would like him to use it, but he does use it. You know exactly where Jack Del Rio stands, which is the only reason that he was asked about the hearings that are go- that went on yesterday is because of his stance. That's the only reason he was asked, because of things he has put out there on Twitter. Nobody else in the NFL that I know of was asked those questions this week in media availabilities, but he was simply because he's put it out there about how he feels. That's the first thing. So they knew what they were getting when they hired him. And the second thing is, that's the deal. We've heard so many people call for his ouster, including former players have have criticized him big time. Some of his own former players have criticized him big time. We haven't heard a single player on that defense yet, and maybe they will, but they haven't yet come out and disagreed with anything that Jack Del Rio said or said, I've had a conversation with Jack Del Rio or any of those things. We've seen none of that so far. So to me, unless some of those players start to bicker about Jack Del Rio, I don't think they're going to make a move to oust Jack Del Rio. One player who spoke out on the issue did not complain about what Del Rio had to say. Here's Jonathan Allen from earlier this week on Del Rio's comments. This is a tough one, so forgive me, but i got to ask. Jack Del Rio, defense coordinator, has been pretty active on his Twitter lately. Some political stuff that kind of runs counter to a lot of what players have said. Does any of that make news in the locker room? Uh, not really, to be honest with you. Me personally, I stay away from it. I've heard about it, but I don't get on specifically, so I don't have to really answer questions because I really don't know. But in, in, my, in my opinion, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Some guys ch- decide to share it on Twitter. Some guys don't. It doesn't make one person better than the other. And at the end of the day, you can have a difference in opinion and still respect one another. I mean, I feel like that's what our country is about. That's what our team's about. So, I mean, me personally, I don't care about his opinion. His opinion, as long as he shows up every day and he works hard, I mean, that's what I want for my defensive coordinator. And look, I have no problem with that in concept. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But as we said yesterday, you're not entitled to your own facts. We can have a debate about whether or not the world is round or the world is flat. And that is the equivalent of having a debate about whether or not there was an insurrection or a dust up at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. And if you watched any, some or all of last night's hearing with an open mind, and a functioning brain, you recognize that it was hardly a dust-up. And uh, and the other side of it, too, it's kind of hard for the players to speak out publicly. This is more about something they'd handle among themselves and talk about among themselves as to whether or not they have a problem, or maybe approach Ron Rivera and say, look, you know, we're not going to air out the dirty laundry publicly, but privately this is maybe something we need to deal with. 
Well, and they all have leadership councils. Most teams do. I assume that the captains and maybe some other players are on a leadership council for, for the team. And that's where this needs to be addressed. And it does need to be addressed, Mike. Whether they're whether they don't care about what he said or they have fierce uh, disagreement with what Jack Del Rio said, it does need to be discussed within the team, I think, and at least within the leadership council by Ron Rivera to see where they stand on this. And I'm sure that's happening, as you said. There will be some players who talk about this. If they're against what Jack Del Rio said, we're going to hear something uh, from some of these players at some point if they are against it. I suspect that Ron Rivera has been working feverishly to put out the fire to the extent there is one. I think the apology from Jack Del Rio on Wednesday was something that he was told in no uncertain terms. I don't know this, but I think he was told you either post this apology or you pack your stuff and get out of here. So uh, we'll see where it goes, whether or not between the end of the offseason program and the start of training camp. We have a change in defensive coordinator. That's up to I'm not calling for it. That's their decision. They have to make that decision. But if they do, it, re- it won't really uh, surprise me at all. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.